Uh, good afternoon, everybody. So, we've made a little progress. We were getting ready to do a line set. And the only thing is, because this was the only place we can put the head unit on the side of the wall, so close to the unit, and I have 25 feet of line set. So the first one I have temporarily up under here, and that's what I like to do is get them both under there and secured. The only thing is, I'm supposed to have a, the least amount of stress on this. So just getting these lined up. And this one's gotta come up to here. We gotta hook the other one up, but we'll get it done. Just nervous about too tight of a bend and uh, crimping that copper. And then if you crimp that, it's done. So we're getting there though. There's a head unit. And we had to go get these decorative boards and put up. And that's what we had in our last cargo trailer and a grooming trailer. But I started to drill the hole for the line set to go out and uh, got stuck. So I ended up on a beam. Even though the beams are marked, they must be double here at the nose. <clears throat> So, moved it over a little bit, got through, but I was literally a millimeter away from the next beam. But thank God we got it through. So, just the drainage going down to the bottom, up the bottom of the trailer. And then we have. the cord for it running outside and that'll have its own dedicated plug it needs its own dedicated breaker uh, EcoFlow has been running a trailer all day on power from the house because there wasn't enough solar and we're running the rooftop AC and it pulls 1500 watts Fifteen hundred and twenty, twenty-seven. So staying at a steady forty-eight percent charge because what's going out is coming in. And we'll mount this up on the wall so we can check our eco flow since it's not it's not easy to see since it's facing in there. I mean, I can still get to it and see it, but it'll be a lot easier with this. This screen that comes with it is Bluetooth, so makes it makes it convenient. And a atomic weather station will mount that up on the wall. But so we got to finish. I'll finish this with this wood, and then this wall, and then we're actually going to do the wall we're going to make back here. So this will be the garage area. 20 inches in, have a wall up to about here, then a doorway. So we'll do that wall in that same decorative, and I think it, it'll look pretty good. So we'll get this finished and get this mess cleaned up, and uh, we'll keep you posted how the line set goes. Say a prayer. Here's a little uh, mini split update. It seems like we got everything working right. We performed the required checks, minus a couple. But it is blowing cold and it is super quiet. It is way more quiet than that thing. It's whisper quiet. 
The only thing I'm not happy with is the watts it's pulling, which, I mean, it's half of the rooftop, but I thought it was going to be around 700. And then we're going to see what happens when it reaches its temperature. And uh, if it goes down. So we started out at 84. Four degrees in here and we're down to 78 now so we're gonna see if the trailer gets down to temp see how the insulation is I know there's insulation because when I cut the holes in there there was insulation but we'll go around and look at the other unit it's warm out here and we got the Titan Patriot Edition. So it's running, compressor's running. It is super quiet. You hear a little humming noise. Check for leaks. Check for leaks. So I need to wrap all that up. It was really hard to get that 25 feet of hose somewhere but I ran out of zip tie so I'm gonna see if I can't neaten it up a little bit and uh, it just is what it is it is what it is so we'll make sure everything's nice and secure for traveling but yeah this is uh, really happy with the mini split super quiet blowing cold all right, so we're on to the next project. Uh, either the water tank or the wall, probably the wall, so Tony can get her uh, bed made sitting in the garage in a box. So yeah, we'll probably do the do the queen bed next, and then the box for the water tank, get the refrigerator up, and uh, we should be about there. So we will keep you posted. And please don't leave all the tools out overnight. Just stick them in that big toolbox or something. All right, so another update. So I don't, I don't know if we're figuring it out or what, but Tony did something to the setting. It reset itself to 79 degrees. It's still blowing cold air. Nice and gentle. At 369 watts. So that's perfect. So the house is charging the eco flow currently, so it's 1555 coming in. 369, 368 going out with the mini split running. So if it reaches where it's supposed to be, especially at night camping, and the eco flow is the eco flow is 100 percent charged. It should run everything all night just fine until the sun comes up and starts charging the battery. So that'll be the next test. But for right now, it's, that thing is, it's blowing nice cold air. It is 76.3 currently in the trailer and 84.7 outside. 55% humidity inside, 74% humidity outside. So, yeah, this might work out after all. Super quiet. The, actually, the eco flow is louder than that mini split. You can't even hear this. You can't even hear it. Cannot even hear it. The fan on the eco flow is louder than the mini split. So there's your update on the mini split. Looks like we did everything right. I got a few things to do in the morning and clean the mess up in here and move on to the next one. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like the video, comment on the video. No bad comments, though. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. We appreciate you watching. See you next time.